lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. The tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch from the clinch. He got him whip his hip into that kick. And they are exchanging leather early. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Liver kick. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. The slip, and then the counter by Shore. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee lands. Big for a run. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Under three minutes to go in round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop this. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Ooh, 
Nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, hook to the head by Short. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Slips to avoid the right. Nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Nice strike. 20 seconds left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to me. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Such a fast leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Just out of range with that right hand. Big leg kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Three minutes now to go in round two. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. And they separate. Boy, Thai Plum. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right punches there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a body kick. Nice. Kick. Nice. 
Nice leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick lands right up the elbow. Good stick. And there comes the separation now. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Well, missed on that one. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Right hand punch to clinch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. All right, so volume uppercuts here on the clinch. That one looked like it really hurt. Better make some adjustments here. Got to make some adjustments. You cannot take those shots to the head like that. him with the left. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Got the single collar tie. 15 seconds. Oh, strong punch there by Shore. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Real nice body kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful punch. Nice leg kick land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, that's a nice strike. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Takedown defense holds up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Beautiful strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, single collar tie now. And they clinch once again. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Right hand hurt him a little bit. Just a slip there. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut. Keep it off right. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice kick. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And now he's got that tight punch. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Choi gets caught by that straight punch, that'll get his attention. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Great punch landed with so much power. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Straight right hand now, just misses. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. 
The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Three minutes to go. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, big punch lands. The Korean Superboy gets caught by the elbow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Real quick leg kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Switch, he lands to the body. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Straight punch lands. Body attack and it's blocked. Sneaky head kick. Back and forth we go! Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Good punch lands. One, two punch is true. Leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Over and over, he's fighting behind. Beautiful leg kicks. Able to check that kick as well. Nice punch land over the top. that left eye. There's no tell on that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Left punch is true. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a big head kick land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All power tie. Like defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. And they separate. Both guys really throwing with authority. Keep that pressure high now. All right, he 
engages in the single collar tie. Good punch. And a big elbow inside. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of guessing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish. Wow. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh man, that cut is nasty. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands. Punch over the top. And they separate. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. That punch, no good. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. And now he's got the tie catch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Not there. What a punch. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Chong. All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision.